Ladies and gentlemen, one of the first things you do, uh, this is a Suzuki 80 four-stroke DF80. One of the first things you do whenever you're checking out an engine or you're pre-tripping, as we say, your boat, okay? Pre-trip, after-trip, take a look at your boat and see what's going on with it because things like this, all right, this is not even here for this purpose, okay? I've just now put my hands on this motor. This motor's here because it won't stay running. Uh... Watch this. Just pay attention. See if you can see. You see this, the outer ring, or the beauty ring, the diffuser, exhaust diffuser of the propeller. Watch how it spins in line in reference with this bolt. Gee, Billy, I think your prop shaft may be bent there, buddy. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Now, what that's going to do is... That's going to cause a huge vibration. I'm sure this customer noticed the vibration, didn't know what it was. They hit something. But now that the prop shaft is bent, the yaw of that prop shaft is going to be going like this, back and forth, yawing inside of its bore, and it's going to end up eating the gear case seals out. And then water is going to go on, and then they're going to eat a gear case. And it's going to have to be, if the gears don't come flying out the side, which it's a Suzuki, I doubt that'll happen, but it's possible it's going to end up costing thousands of dollars to fix it. So these things need to be straightened. So now this is going to have to be taken apart, a new sh prop shaft put in it. I mean, I know people that straighten them, but I don't necessarily uh, recommend that. But at any rate, I mean, come on, dude. It's all bent. So now it's got all got to come apart, and they're going to have to have a new prop shaft still. So I just want to put this out there so you, you guys understand that sometimes small things turned into big problems and ultimately it seems like they always end up with me so just want to let you guys know have a great day